Good morning guys, I'm Echo and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you several workout routines that you can also do at home. During this isolation period, we can't go outside to exercise and we can't go to the gym, but you can still work out at home. So follow this exercise that I'm going to show you to stay healthy and fit even when you're stuck at home. For today's exercises, all you need is a mat, a roller, jump rope and dumbbells. If you don't have the equipment at home, you can improvise. You can use a towel if you don't have a yoga mat. If you don't have dumbbells, you can also use one of these. Just fill it up with water, you can use 5 to 10 liters, it's all up to you. If you don't have an ab roller, planks and sit-ups are also very good ab workout. Jump rope. This is a very good cardio exercise that will keep those calories burning. If you don't have this type of jump rope, you can try to use a regular rope, provided it's a little bit thick and heavy. Or you can just do burpees or jumping jacks for your cardio exercises. The exercises that I'm going to show you are quite simple and easy to follow. I usually do 5-10 to 10 minutes stretching exercises before I proceed with my main workout. Let's start! Standing overhead stretch. Stretch your arms up over your head and clasp your hands. Hold for 20 seconds while breathing deeply. Stretching can help improve your daily life by making your body feel more relaxed and your mind less stressed. It increases flexibility and improves your performance and physical activities. Overhead Side Bend Stretch Stretch your arms up over your head and bend to the side. Hold the position for 20 seconds on each side. Stretching also increases blood flow to your muscles and help improve your posture. Overhead Tricep Stretch Stand straight with your shoulders back, chest out, raise one arm overhead, bend the elbow, and place your hand behind your neck. With your other hand, grasp your elbow and gently pull it behind your head. Hold the stretch for 20 seconds. Relax and repeat with the opposite arm. Bent Over Twist Stand straight with feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart and raise your arms to the sides. Bend and rotate your torso to the right, touching your right foot with your left hand. Return to the starting position and repeat on the other side. Hold each position for 20 seconds and repeat with the opposite side. Touch Your Toes Stretch Touching your toes is about flexibility in the back, hips, thighs, calves and feet. Keep your legs straight and your head in line with your spine. Hold this position for 20 seconds. Don't strain if you can't touch your toes yet. With regular practice, you will be able to touch your toes in no time. Child's Pose Lower Back Stretch With your hands and knees on the ground, sink back through your hips to rest them on your heels. Rest your forehead on the ground with your arms extended out in front of you. Rest your belly on your thighs. Focus on breathing deeply and relaxing any areas of tension or tightness. Hold this pose for up to one minute. Child's pose helps to stretch the hips, thighs, and ankles while reducing stress and fatigue. It gently relaxes the muscles on the front of the body while softly and passively stretching the muscles of the back torso. Pigeon pose. Pigeon pose stretches the hips and thighs. Hold the stretch for one minute and repeat with the opposite side. Touch your toes while sitting. Lay on the floor with your legs straight out and your toes pointed up. Put your arms above your head and then stretch further forward reaching your toes. Do not strain yourself. Hold the position where you feel a nice stretch without discomfort. Hold this pose for up to one minute. Seated back twist stretch. It promotes good digestion and encourages spinal mobility. Twisting postures help tone the belly and can help relieve lower back pain. I like this pose because it's relaxing. Hold the stretch for one minute and repeat with the opposite side. Seated wide leg side bend. It provides an all-over body stretch, including those hard-to-reach places such as the inner thighs and between the shoulder blades. Hold the stretch for one minute and repeat with the opposite side. Now we can proceed with the main workout. Plank exercise. I usually do a total of 5 minutes plank. For beginners, you can start to hold the plank for 1 minute and then progress up to 5 minutes only once you've mastered your form and built strength. It's okay to rest for 10 seconds in between planks. Position your elbows directly beneath your shoulders. Make and maintain a straight body line from head to heels. Squeeze your butt and fronts of your thighs. Raise your abs and create tension to strengthen your core. Breathe normally while you hold the position. Your meat back shouldn't have a small hump that looks like a turtle shell. 
If you do this, your back is doing most of the stabilizing, not your abs, so avoid this common error. Also, when your butt and hips are bumped up in the air, you're compressing your lower back, which can result to lower back soreness. The plank is supposed to help alleviate lower back pain, not increase it, so be mindful of your plank posture. Ab Wheel Rollout This exercise is a great ab workout that helps build stronger core and more defined abs. Ab Roller is an affordable workout equipment that you can buy at any sports store. Place the ab roller on the ground in front of your feet and slowly roll it forward, keeping a tight core as you extend your body into a plank position. Pause for a moment in the plank position, keeping your back as flat as possible. And then brace your core to slowly roll yourself back up to the starting position. I usually do 3 sets of 10 reps with 10 seconds rest. For beginners, start with 2 sets of 5 to 8 reps. And progress up to 10 reps only once you've mastered your form and built strength. If you don't have an ab roller, there are many different core exercises you can do at home without needing any equipment, like sit-ups, leg raises, bicycle crunches to name a few. Seated Russian Twist Hold a dumbbell with both hands, seat on the mat with your knees bent and your feet lifted up. Adjust your posture according to your balance and strength. Lean slightly back without rounding your spine at all. It is really important to keep your back straight. Pull your navel to your spine and twist slowly to the left, bringing the weight to your left side. The movement must come from the ribs rotating, not from your arms swinging. Breathe normally and rotate to the right. I usually do 3 sets of 20 repetitions with 10 seconds rest. For beginners, you can aim for 3-5 to five sets of 10 repetitions. If you include seated Russian twist to your workout routine, you'll improve balance and posture and help burn excess belly fat. It's a great ab workout. Sumo squat pulses with dumbbell. Grab a dumbbell. I'm using 15 kilograms for this workout. Stand with your feet, shoulder width apart. Hold the dumbbell with both hands at chest height. Keep steady in place, then bend your knees as you raise your butt slightly up and down a few inches for a minute. I usually do 3 sets with 5 to 10 seconds rest. Be sure to keep your core engaged the entire time. Your back should be flat and your chest should be up and open. Squat pulses with weights works for your butt. This workout also hit your legs, your glutes, and of course your core. As you pose your way up and down when you do the exercise, your core muscles like your abs and your obliques slowly form. For beginners, it's crucial to know where to start when it comes to choosing the right amount of weight for you. Depending on what your workout calls for, I recommend picking a weight that you can maintain proper form throughout the whole set. If after a few repetitions you feel the weight is too heavy or too light, feel free to adjust as needed. Dumbbell lunges You can do this exercise with or without weights, although lunges with weights provides additional work for the upper leg muscles. Doing dumbbell lunges with proper breathing and form will improve your core strength and stability. Stand up straight with a dumbbell in each hand. Hang your arms at your sides. Palms should face the thighs. Feet should be a little less than shoulder width apart. Take a big step forward with either leg, bending at the knee until the front thighs approaches parallel to the ground, landing on the heel. The rear leg is bent at the knee and balanced on the toes. For the leg you step forward with, don't let the knee go past the tip of the toes. Step back to your standing starting position and repeat the motion with the other leg. Alternate legs until you complete 24 lunges per set of 2 or 3 sets workout with 10 to 15 seconds rest. It's important to keep your back straight and torso upright as you lunge. If you find yourself leaning or rounding your back, be sure to draw in your abs before taking a step and use a lighter weight or no weight at all until you're able to do it properly. If your feet are too close together, you will put more of the force on your knees rather than your thigh muscles. If they are too far apart, you won't be able to bend the rear leg as much and your lunge will be less stable. Adjust the width of your stance to find the right distance. For beginners, practice the lunge without weights until you are able to do it with good form, especially if you have balance issues. Once you are able to do the move correctly with just your body weight, begin with light weights. You can increase the weight as you are able to do the exercise correctly. Standing Dumbbell Biceps Curl Grab a pair of dumbbells. I'm using 5 kilos for each arm. Stand up straight with the braced core. 
Allow the dumbbells to hang at arm's length with palms facing forward. Without moving your upper arms, bend your elbows and curl the dumbbells as close to your shoulders as you can. Pause for a second and slowly allow the weights to return to the starting position with arms fully extended. Bicep curls with dumbbells can increase your bicep size and strength. There is no set weight to start with when using dumbbells. Some people may feel comfortable beginning at 5 kilos and others at 15 kilos. It is important to start with a manageable weight, nothing too light or too heavy, as you want to be able to feel some impact. Standing Dumbbell Shoulder Press Grab a set of dumbbells. I'm using 5 kilos each. For beginners, start with a manageable weight. Raise the dumbbells to shoulder height on each side with your palms facing forwards and your elbows out to the sides and bend at 90 degrees angle. Keep your head up and eyes facing forward. Without leaning back, slowly raise the dumbbells above your head until your arms are almost fully extended. Do not pause at the top of the movement and begin lowering the dumbbells back down to the starting position. Repeat this movement with 3 sets of 10 repetitions. For beginners, you can start with 2 to 3 sets of 8 reps with 10 seconds rest. If you want to take this exercise to the next level, try the single leg balance dumbbell shoulder press. Grab a set of dumbbells of the weight you prefer, hold them at a shoulder height with both arms bent and palms facing away from the body. Stand on one leg with your foot pointed straight ahead and knees slightly bent. Hold the dumbbells as tight as possible. Press them overhead until your elbows are completely left out. Pause and then slowly lower the weight back to the starting position. I usually do 10 repetitions of 3 sets with 10 seconds rests. This exercise is a good way to test your upper body strength. It will improve the strength and size of your shoulder muscles. Also, the single leg stance is a simple but very effective exercise for improving balance. Alternating Dumbbell Curl This exercise targets your biceps. Dumbbell curl can be done while sitting or standing. Personally, I prefer the standing variation because it works the abdominal muscles slightly while the seated variations do not. I usually do 20 repetitions of 3 sets with 10 seconds rest. To perform this exercise, hold the dumbbell in each hand with your palms facing forward. Your arms should be fully extended, hanging at your sides. Lock your upper arms next to your sides and do not move them. Exhale and curl the dumbbell up to your shoulder by bending your elbow. Inhale and lower the dumbbell back to the starting position. Keep one arm stationary while you curl the other and alternate between sides. This allows you to fully concentrate on one arm at a time. Make sure to do the exercise with proper form. Do not allow your wrist to curl as you lift the weight. Keep your wrist aligned with your forearm throughout the movement. Do not rest the weight on your shoulders at the top of the movement. Lower the weight with control. Do not let it drop back down to avoid injury. Jump Rope Jump Rope Workout is a full body exercise that uses your abdominals to stabilize the body. Legs for jumping, shoulders and arms for turning the rope, thereby improving your coordination, stamina, and focus. Skipping is one of the most affordable, most effective, fat burning workouts you can do anywhere. And it's fun too. I usually do this exercise with my younger brother Leonard when I'm back home in Bicol. We challenge each other to complete 1,000 skips per day. This exercise is an incredible alternative to power Cardio exercises that requires a machine like a treadmill. A regular jump rope session improves muscle tone in both the lower and upper body. Another thing I love about jump rope is that it's handy. You can bring it anywhere you go so you won't miss your daily cardio exercises. I usually do 100 skips of 10 sets with 10 to 15 seconds rest, completing a total of 1,000 skips per session. If you don't have a jump rope, you can do burpees or jumping jacks instead for your cardio workout. And we're done! That is about 30 minutes of workout! The exercises that I show you today is just a few of many different workouts that you can do at home. I hope you'll find this video helpful and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!